Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, we're going to talk about expectation and follow-up. So, uh, as you can see, uh, or I don't know if this is the first time, but I have uh, many other videos uh, about how to become a computer technician. So, if, if this is the first time, I recommend to you to see the other videos so you can understand all the, the process. So, we're going to talk here about uh, follow-up expectations and all those things. So, when you go to a customer and you go to fix their computer, uh, they expect that the computer will work in the same way it was before. Sometimes that is possible, sometimes that is not possible. So I'm going to explain a few things. Also, the follow-up. The follow-up, what, what does it mean is after you finish the, the repair, and then maybe after a few days later, you call them and say, hey, the computer is working well, everything is fine, uh, let me know, or maybe next day. Usually the best uh, idea would be called uh, next day, uh, even though before leaving, and uh, you make sure that they check everything, that everything is working fine. But sometimes it's, it's very good, and uh, they will feel much better if we, if we <laughs> call them up uh, later on next day to make sure that everything is fine. So if that something is wrong or maybe there is some uh, detail that we forgot, we can fix it right away and that will be great. They will feel um, uh, much better about us and they will call us next time. So that is, is very important. So the expectations, the, this is the most uh, critical uh, thing because uh, it happens, it happened to me like when you go to a customer, they have, I don't know, maybe 50 computers. I mean, I mean, they have uh, 50 programs installed on their computers already. Um, maybe they use half of it. And if, if you go to fix their computer and you say, oh, the computer is, is, very, is very bad. I mean, it has a lot of virus. It would be better for you to wipe and reload. So we, if we do that, the computer will work much better. But uh, the customer may say, no, I have 50 programs here that they are very important to me. Uh, I need them and we cannot uh, take a chance that something will not uh, work uh, as, as before. Maybe the customer, they don't have the program. Maybe they uh, forgot the, the license, the serial number somewhere and they don't have a chance to call the provider say hey can you can you call uh, can you send me the serial again and all the things so if that happened that would be very very bad idea when that happened what you can do is is this you can try to clone the hard drive and then try to uh, repair uh, the operating system that they are working on and all, on all those things and if that is not possible you can tell them you have to tell to the customer hey look this is not possible or just uh, I'll, I will come back when you have all the serial number and everything if we have to reinstall and sometimes the in worst case scenario it might happen that the manufacturer of that uh, software is out of business and and there is no way you can get the, the support from them to fix uh, the program, maybe to reinstall it or whatever is the, the problem. So you have to lay out all those issues uh, so they, they know what they're going to encounter. Because if you start uh, working on the computer and something goes wrong or you have to wipe and reload and you find out that uh, they don't have the, the software, all the software that, that they need or something like that. Uh, that, that will get very ugly very, very soon. Also, uh, you will find that people have very old operating system on their computers and you say, well, that operating system is, is obsolete and if you keep uh, working with this operating system, let's say, I don't know, XP or Windows 98 or 95 or something like that, you will say, no, look, if you, if you browse with Windows XP or maybe Vista or something like that, um, it, there is no more support, no more updates, no, no nothing, uh, you will have a virus again. So it will take maybe <laughs> a few weeks and you will call me again and it will not be very good. So I, if that is the case, what I recommend is say, look, 
if, if you want me to install XP again, or I don't know, <laughs> in 98 or 95, look, call another guy. Uh, this is not the work for me because I know if I install XP today, 2016, uh, that computer will get infected very quickly or, very, or it will be very vulnerable to any attack. So that will be a, a very big a problem for, for you. you. You may say, well, yes, I fixed it and I charge, I don't know, 100, 200, 300 dollars and it's easy money, I don't know, and I need the money, yeah, but you get the, you may get the money, but you will get a, a problem as well. So if, if you say, if you talk with the customer and say, hey, look, this is all the, the problem that you're going to get in the future, uh, if you want me to do it and you agree to do that, that, you will say, okay, this is what is going to happen. You will call me maybe in three or four days because your computer will get uh, infected again uh, and all those things. So in my case, I prefer to, to leave that job for someone else if that is the case because it will not turn, uh, it will not turn uh, well. So uh, that is uh, what I, I recommend. So uh, keep it uh, safe, keep the expectation of the customers. If they have software that they, they don't have, uh, tell them, hey, look, we can install all uh, again, uh, new operating system, Windows 10 or Windows 11 or the new operating system that there is in, in the, at, at the time that you're watching this video, but uh, that is, is what you're going to to provide you you should provide some kind of warranty for for your work so i hope you have enjoyed this video remember if you have any question you can you can go to my forum and if you want to buy any of my uh, classes about computers and everything else you can go to my website as well so thank you for watching remember click a uh, like in the button and, see, and subscribe to my channel and see you next time bye